Doreen, we were talking about gender dysphoria just a moment ago and talking about some of the outrageous actions that are being taken and equally outrageous claims that are made. Parents, for example, are being told that if they deny giving in to this dysphoria on the part of their child, they may cause that child to actually be suicidal. Is that true? How should a Christian from a biblical worldview look at that? Well, I think it's first would be important to understand and recognize that a child that's facing this kind of dysphoria actually has issues. You know, there are underlying issues there that need to be addressed. I mean, you can't just deny that. Um, And it's important to do it in a way that affirms the truth of who they are. Uh, You know, affirming a lie in their life is not loving them. And yet there are major things that need to happen in a situation. Right now we've got have social media and other things driving these ideas in children. And unfortunately, school curriculum doing the same, suggesting that they need to decide for themselves if they're a boy or a girl. Uh, and so the first thing to recognize is that, you know, there is something going on there. Will, will they then commit suicide if you don't allow them to change? Uh, you know, there's reliable evidence that suggests that. In fact, what we do know in a longitudinal way from a study in Sweden was that 20 years after individuals went through those transitions, they were more suicidal. It increased it by almost 20%. And so it's it's super important that parents understand that they don't start taking actions that are irreversible, that cause irreversible, harmful damage to them. In fact, a child that starts out taking puberty blockers immediately arrests the bone development, brain development, the other kinds of things that those hormonal changes uh, uh, allow for. And in fact, when you if you start giving them cross-sex hormones, which some doctors are prescribing as young as 8, 9, or 10, they are sterilized for life. So the idea that they could then come back and regain who they are in their normal, uh, you know, in their normal sex is, is denied them. So we have got a lot of reckoning to do with the truth here. And it is dangerous to be going down a road that's denying the, the realities of what's happening to a child. They have no capacity for informed consent. And we have to recognize that. 